ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for inviting me to give this short talk. I also want to say a big well done to the organizers of this event. Um, it's not easy as students putting together such a fantastic lineup of speakers and putting together such a wonderful event. The title of my talk is simple, The Drive, How to Create Value Out of Chaos. I will start by asking very simple questions. How many of us drive? Have you ever driven outside Nigeria? My own experience when I first drove outside Nigeria was a life-changing one. I felt like fish out of water coming from a society where the police and public officials violate traffic laws daily. For me, this was an eye-opener that we have deep-seated problems as a society which needs to be fixed. And if we rely on the old stock of leaders to lead this change, we will be deceiving ourselves. What drives you? For me, the chaos and problems in Nigeria is my drive. Every day I wake up, I see potential in the problems and challenges. I see opportunities all around me. This has led me to center my life's mission around building entrepreneurial capital to fund high impact pro problems in our society. There are indeed several problems that need to be solved in Nigeria today. How do we then find opportunities to succeed within all this chaos? As university undergraduates, I believe this is a very important question to answer at this stage in your lives. I've created a simple four-step framework which can help you think about this question. One, follow the money. Take a look at the structure of the Nigerian economy. You will see opportunities in terms of the size and the momentum in each of these sectors. Read the annual GDP report from the National Bureau of Statistics and it will give you insights into the largest sectors and the fastest growing ones. Two, the 80-20 rule. Also known as the Pareto Principle, it suggests that 80% of output is mostly driven by 20% of inputs. This helps you to filter for the noise. For example, in Nigeria, 80% of output is mostly driven by 20% or even less of inputs from cities, people, towns. Also, equity states. It's safe to say that 80% of the output is mostly driven by 20% of people, inputs, opportunities. We need to identify the 20% of those inputs and focus our efforts there. Three, focus on what matters for our future. GDP reports may give you insights into the structure of the economy and how it's evolved over the years. However, it may not help us to considerably think about the future. It's important to think hard about what will be valuable in the next 10 years not what is only valuable now. Four, find your niche. Try to be unique. Don't just follow the bandwagon. Your success lies at the intersection of your strengths, past experiences, and what matters in our society. If we succeed as individuals in our various identified opportunities and niches, we will begin to see the change that we desire. The change we seek 
begins from each and every one of us. Despite all this chaos, a new Nigeria can be created. You may wonder, how can this be done? Simple one word, imagine. Yes, imagine. One of the challenges, one of the problems with our society today is that people prefer remembering to imagining. Yes, shocking, but it's quite true. Why? Because imagination can be frightening. It involves delving into the unknown, which is frightening for most of us. But can you blame us? Even our educational system trained us to remember and not imagine. Can we unlearn this? Yes, we can. And yes, we should. If we do, we will be able to imagine ourselves out of this mess, out of this chaos that we currently are, and create a new Nigeria, which is working for everyone and despite all its current limitations. We do not need to accept the mediocre. Yes, we are a poor nation. But we have one thing, human capital. Human capital in abundance. And with this, we do not need to accept mediocrity. We need to strive for excellence and imagine and create a new Nigeria. Just imagine Nigeria as the next startup nation. Israel, popularly referred to as the startup nation from, its, from the New York Times bestseller by Dan Sino and Saul Singer in the bestseller titled The Startup Nation. A nation in the middle of a desert, now an agri-technology hub, producing 95% or more of the food it consumes. Only a population of 9 million people. Surrounded on all fronts by its enemies, been at war for decades. With most of its people scattered across the world. It now has become a leader in innovation with more than 65 unicorns. This year alone, Israel has added 21 unicorns. Nigeria too can become the next startup nation. With the amount of human capital that we have, with the amount of people, bright talent that we have in our universities, in every area of our society, both male and female, Nigeria too can excel with you and I excelling at our individual sectors. Despite all these challenges, Nigeria can thrive through all these scales. Thank you.